Oh my god, it's 4.30. What's up guys? I'm Katie Nolan and I have your top headlines for Friday, January 20th. I would love to pretend that I'm drunk, but full disclosure is 4.30 in the morning and I just closed the bar. But you know what? Let's, let's suck it up. Forget that I'm wearing a big baggy sweatshirt and PJ pants. And let's, let's do some news. And let's do it the best we can. This is real life. I'm not Connie Chung. I'm a bartender who films internet videos in her spare bedroom. Today we've got a guy who wants to break up with your girlfriend and controversy over some Hollywood head. And even though I don't look excited, I am. It's the return of your email. Let's do this shit. I really do feel bad, I'm sorry. If this is your first time at the Guys in Speed Round, maybe go ahead and check in on Monday. You might really like it. Oh, my cell phone's been here the whole time. That's so unprofessional. In such a professional setting. Oh. A severed head was discovered in a bag under the Hollywood sign, which is actually only a few blocks from Brad and Angelina's house. What's in the box? What's in the fucking box? I'm sorry, I had to. Stephen, I burped. <laughs> Stephen Colbert is co-hosting a rally for his presidential campaign in South Carolina with Herman Cain, making it even more difficult to figure out which presidential race is supposed to be a joke. A new study at Harvard University has discovered that the secret to being a true hipster is to like something before everyone else does. So, um, I guess something like, I liked Harvard back when it was still a legitimate learning institution. Would that work? This guy makes a living off of dumping your significant other for you. He contacts them either by phone or email and breaks the news. I think it's kind of nice that he goes that extra mile. Because all he really has to do is show up in that hat. Reports claim that Kelly Osborne may have fallen off the wagon. I don't think so, though. I'm pretty sure he would have felt it. Oh, guys, I really am so excited. I just can't. Show it, it's viewer email time, it's back! For anyone who's new to the guys in speed round, first of all, why are you still watching? I already told you to come back on Monday. But if you insist, viewer email is something we used to do every day. Uh, when you guys would send me an email with a question or something you wanted me to talk about, then it started to get less frequent because people wouldn't send me as many emails or when they did, they were creepy. So today's email, you're pissed I didn't dance, right? Next week, I promise. Today's email comes from Amazon.com. Wrong! Today's email, I'm gonna pick a lady. Uh, but John Futch, to answer your question, what I want for my birthday, first, all I want is a shorty award. To be honest, is that so vain? Ugh. I mean, I also want... I also want to quit my bartending job, but that's not something you guys can do for me. What you can do is vote for me for a shorty award and share my video and my shorty award link on your walls and such. And then I'll just get so internet famous that I'll be so rich. And then I can work on making these funny. Back to the woman, Alicia Turner. Alicia writes, and I, wa I want to paraphrase it, but I'm so, I'm just going to read it. Just wondering why, when I go out with my friends, guys hit on me and not them. I'm 31 with five kids, and all I want is a drink. I dress in jeans and a t-shirt, and all these 19 to 24-year-olds are asking me for my Facebook and crap when I have these amazingly sexy friends in skirts and heels actually looking for a guy getting pissed at me. I'm not saying I won't take the free drinks, but I am saying I'm confused by the situation. That makes two of us. First of all, off the bat, Alicia, I gotta say, I don't believe you for a number of reasons. But uh, second of all, it needs to be established that your description of your friends as amazingly sexy is terribly biased. As their friends, you probably think they're like nines. And so mathematically, that means they're probably like fives. Hence why they're getting mad at you. Um, the third point I'm going to make about this email is my heat's on. Can you hear it? Yay. The third point I'm going to make about this email is that I don't understand why you're complaining. 
I also don't understand how you have five kids at 31. I'm 25. I need to get my shit together. Um, if you're 31 and you're going out in your jeans and your t-shirt and you have so much swag that everybody's hitting on you, you shouldn't be married. You should, this is why marriage is stupid. Uh, but lastly, the one last thing that I'll say is it's funny that 19 to 24 year olds are asking for your Facebook. I think that's such a funny concept because that's like asking for your name. Oh, what's your Facebook? Uh, Katie Nolan, my, my first name combined with my last name because that's what a Facebook is. Why don't people just say, oh, what's your full name? I mean, I know that sounds kind of creepy, but what's your Facebook is just stupid. And these are my awesome thoughts at 4.30 in the morning. Have you ever heard me talk this slow? I know you probably didn't laugh with me, just at me, but I'll take it. I feel like we really bonded today. By the way, I couldn't think of a joke for it, but LL Cool J is going to be hosting the Grammys this year. I thought you would, that's a headline you need to know. I just, I have no comment. Anyway, I'm going to just um, put an end to this train wreck now and say that I hope you guys have a fantastic weekend. I really do. Um, I'm really sorry for this, and I promise that next week I will be the very best that I can be. Because it's my birthday week, and I'm going to, I'm just, I'll shower and I'll sleep. On that uplifting note, I'm, I'll see you guys back here on Monday if you choose to stick around. Please do. Uh, with more headlines that you need to know and, and less of this. Look how blurry that is. What happened there? Are you tired too, camera? All right.